Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and today in this video, I'm gonna show, how to create Mac OS Sequoia bootable USB on Windows, without Mac and Transimac. So before starting, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, then please go and subscribe to our channel and stay connected for the latest updates. So guys, let's start. For creating Mac OS Sequoia bootable USB on Windows, you'll need the latest Python, open core package for downloading the required files, EFI according to your target system, to create EFI for your system, follow the guide for my button, Rufus for erasing the USB, and any USB minimum with 2GB capacity, also a working internet connection is required. All the download links for the required files are provided under the description. Now, firstly install the latest version of Python. To install Python, open Microsoft Store, and then search for Python and get the latest version of it. After Python is installed, close Microsoft Store, and then open the Open Core Package folder, and then go to the Utilities folder. Now here, select the Mac Recovery folder, and then copy the folder as path. After copying, run Command Prompt as Administrator. Now in the Command Prompt, type CD, and with one space paste the copied path, and press the Enter key. Now, open the Mac Recovery folder under the Utilities folder of Open Core Package and then open the recovery URL's test file. In the text file, scroll till last, and then copy the URL as shown. After copying the URL, paste it to the command prompt window, and with one space type download and then press enter key. And now, a new command prompt window will open and few files will be downloaded. After the download is complete, the second command prompt window will exit. Now close the command prompt, and verify that a base system.chunklist, and base system.dmg are available in the following folder. Now plug your USB, also make sure to have a backup of your USB, as USB will be erased. And after the USB appears, open Rufus. Now in the Rufus window, select your USB from the dropdown. Then select non-bootable from the drop-down list under boot selection. Set the partition scheme to MBR, and target system to BIOS. Under the format section set the file system to large FAT32, and then change the volume label to EFI, and click on start, then OK to erase the USB. After the USB is erased, close Rufus, and then browse to your USB. Here delete both the files, and then copy the com.apple.recovery.boot folder from the following folder, and then paste it to the USB. After the file is copied, copy the EFI of your target system, and paste it to the USB. And now everything is done. Eject the USB and now you'll be able to boot to the Mac OS Sequoia Recovery Installer.
And as you can see, the macOS Sequoia Recovery Installer has been booted successfully. So that was it, hope it was useful. Consider like for the video, and subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions, just comment down below, or create a thread on our forum. Make sure to check out the forum for in-depth guides. Thanks for watching and have a great day ahead.